Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and this is our football manager experiment to see what happens to American football, uh, or soccer in America, it's not American football, in a hundred years time. Now the good news is, the game did simulate a hundred years, which means we survived Trump, or tr about Trump the fifth is now on the throne uh, in, the, in America, but we have survived, and that's the main thing. The world has continued. So let's kind of look at some records here. And let's see here, most time winners, now this is MLS, this is the league, not necessarily the grand final. Montreal, 29 times in 100 years, because I haven't won it yet, I don't think, so that's relatively dominant, isn't it, from uh, from Montreal. Uh, most points in a season, 92, fewest points in a season, FC, zero points in a season in 2054. Oh dear, Toronto FC, what happened there? Most league wins, 34, fewest league wins, well that would be the pointless season, wouldn't it? Although, that's 2020, that's a different year. So Toronto FC have gone a year with no points, so therefore no wins, and they've actually had a second season in 2027 with zero wins. Not a good 100 years to be a Toronto fan by the looks of things. That's 34 defeats in a season is a record. That's a lot of defeats in a year. Most draws, that's a pointless stat. Fewest league draws in a season, well, that's, they would have loved to draw that season, wouldn't they? Uh, that's another year that they <laughs> didn't have any draws. Uh, attendances look like they've remained relatively static. You'd expect that highest. LA Galaxy raking in the crowds. Oh, that's a that's an old record. That one stood the test of time. Lowest attendance, San Jose. So that's that's a new one. Average attendance, Atlanta. That looks like it's an old one. It's their first season. The biggest win, Philadelphia. 12-0 over Toronto FC in 2075. There's another season for Toronto fans to have a reason to hate themselves. Uh, most games won in a row, 20 for Vancouver. Most games, 414 games lost in a row between over 12 years is that. What has this game done to Toronto FC? Or what has Toronto FC done to the makers of Football Manager? They absolutely hate them. Uh, most matches without losing, 43 for Vancouver. Most games without winning, that's, that's almost 50 years. Toronto FC has got almost 50 years without winning a game of football. A couple of draws thrown in there, no doubt. That is... The fo football manager has broken Toronto FC. That is unbelievable. What is their squad like? I mean, that might tell a story, mightn't it? But that is... We'll have to come back and do a Toronto FC special. <laughs> 100 years of Toronto FC, because that is just woeful. 122 games without scoring a goal. They've gone... Now, Toronto FC, for those of you who don't know, at this, when they first came into the MLS, they went a good 6-7 games without scoring a goal. And that seemed like an eternity. 122 games. They've gone from 2088. They've gone f almost four years without scoring a goal. That is... That is unbelievable. <laughs> Poor Toronto FC. Uh, let's see here. Most goals in a season. That is a new record that happened in 2032. Uh, most games... So that, that Clint Mathis goal, five goals for the Metro Stars. That stood the test of time for the next hundred years. Uh, most assists, most clean sheets, they've all been new records. You can't really compare average rating. 7.7 .7 is a pretty good average rating, though. Man of match awards in the season was a New York City player. Worst discipline, youngest player, Freddie Adu, again, stood the test of time. Um, but you'd expect that the oldest player, again, has stood the test of time of Casey Keller. Uh, fastest goal, again, stood the test of time. Seven seconds from Mike Greller for that Red Bull. I think that was he's a Red Bull player, isn't he? Youngest goal scorer, Freddie Adu, that, that record holds the test of time. And Van der Rama, 2002, that record still holds the test of time. So, some interesting records there. Not a good one for Toronto FC fans. You may just want to turn off now, guys, because it can only get worse. Let's have a look at winners here. MLS Cup. So, this is the grand final MLS Cup, isn't it? Uh, so, maybe it's Montreal. So, this Montreal maybe did win the actual the, the MLS Cup final, as opposed to the league. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Because they're in competitors otherwise. So it looks like it's not a, well. If you're not a, if you're not from Toronto, it's a good time to be a Canadian football fan. It looks like because Vancouver, Montreal, New York Red Bulls, but Vancouver, Montreal are quite dominant here. Minnesota, Vancouver, Montreal, Vancouver, Montreal. It's all it's about being Canadian, isn't it? New York Red Bulls will get thrown in there a couple of times with Minnesota as well. A couple for Portland, Oakland. Uh, sorry, uh, Orlando. There one or two. San Jose, Cincinnati had a couple of trips to the final, couldn't quite get the job done. Montreal, Montreal making finals there. L LAFC, that's a new one that we've seen. I wonder if Toronto FC <laughs> did anything. This is during the Toronto FC dry spell of not winning any games or getting any points, by the way, uh, if you're looking for a period of time. I wonder if this century is... What, what can we call this century? Leave your suggestions in the comments. What can we describe this? How can we just, what can we call this century? Toronto FC has to get a mention. It must be like... The century that Toronto just lost its soul or something. I don't know. You can do better than that, guys. Let's let's come up with a name for this hundred years. 
Uh, but again, Mont- just to rub salt in the Toronto wounds, it's Montreal Impact and it's Vancouver just sharing around MLS Cups like they're going out of business. Another five-year period. Look at this. That's what... Is that, what, 2045 to... The over, so over 10 years, it was pretty much just shared with the Portland getting one in the middle there between the Canadian clubs. Chicago back, went back-to-back, back, LAFC, NYCFC, LAFC... NYC, so it's all about East Coast, West Coast here, isn't it? LA, look at that. That's a nice little domination for LAFC and New York City as well. Uh, another one for Red Bull. We're coming into more modern times here. Cincinnati got one on the board nice and early after their arrival. 2019. So Toronto FC, because this is last year they won it. So LAFC wins it this year, according to Football Manager. Next year, Toronto FC win it. And then I think that's the last game they won. I don't think they won a game after 2019 MLS Cup Final, beating LA Galaxy in the final. So... Yeah, that's been a rough period of time for Toronto FC, but it looks like after, what's this? So after 2045, it's just it's just all about can there is Maybe that's when, uh, like, we don't survive Trump anymore or when, you know, Trump the third comes to the throne and American football just dies. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it seemed to go all Canada there, didn't it? So that is... Yeah, it's a good time to be a non-Torontonian Canadian by the looks of things there. And let's have a quick look now at the American national team. Now, the big question for American football is, have they managed to win the World Cup, isn't it? That's the big one. Now, judging by these world rankings, they had a, they peaked at 34th there. I'm going to say no, they haven't. But we can't be sure. Let's have a look at the overview here. Uh, no, no, they haven't. They've won the American Gold Cup 14 times. Now, they tend to share that with Mexico every couple of years anyway. Uh, North American Nations League, that's something new. I don't remember that. Uh, Olympic Games qualifying. So internationally, the U.S. has not had a good time of things. And that world ranking, that I mean, it's only 45 is a low, so it's not horrid. But it would tend to spell that out, wouldn't it? Let's have a look a little bit more detail. Let's have a look at competitions. Uh, they had a cop- third place in the Copper America in 2076. Confederations Cup runners-up 2021. So that's relatively modern times. Uh, Olympics is not really anything there. Yeah, I mean, North American Gold Cup, they're still competitive, more or less. So they had, did have, in 100 years, you'd thought they would have done more than what, win it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. You would have thought they would have done a little bit better than that. Um, but yeah, a little bit slim pickings, isn't it? Let's have a look at and see how they've, far they've got in, say, for the World Cup here. Um, now, it looks as though they're not... Oh, no, they're pretty regular qualifiers, aren't they? They're pretty regular qualifiers. Um, so next World Cup, uh, they finished third in their group. Now next, I'm not sure if that is... No, that's the still 20, uh, 32 team, and then we go up to the massive World Cup. So they lost to Brazil in the third round there. Venezuela in the third round. Second round, Turkey. They haven't got out of their group for the next few there. Poland in the second round after extra time. They lost in the second round to Germany. Out in the group. Lost to Scotland in the second round, which means Scotland got to a World Cup, uh, guys. So that's good news. Maybe one to look at. When we do, if we do a Scotland uh, look into the future, lost to Holland in the second round of the World Cup group stage, lost to Romania in the third round. Second round, they lost to Colombia, Portugal in the third round. They've gone out in this most recent World Cup in the in the game anyway in the group as well. So, sorry Americans, it doesn't look as though your World Cup future looks particularly bright there. That doesn't look like it's a good hundred years. The Olympics, anything there? Um, a couple of times they've made it bottom or haven't got out of the group anyway every time that they have that they've made it that's semi-regular qualifiers but yeah nothing to write home about in the olympics under 20 world cups again semi-regular qualifiers it looks like um but a couple of second round appearances there uh oh they've lost on that's a quarterfinal in uh, what's that? 2039, a second round, a second loss to Australia. Get in, boys! Aha! Uh, <clears throat> second round there, lost to my boys. Second round loss, very little to. Re- this is surprisingly disappointing, actually. I would think for for America, I would have thought they would have done a lot better. Um, Gold Cup. Now we saw that they won it a few times, and we lost to. Where's the most recent one? So 2019, they won it. So they win the next one. They lose to Mexico in the semi-final, lost in the semi-final, quarter-final to Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago in the quarter-final, semi-final loss to Mexico, final loss to Mexico, out in the group stage in the Copper America, oh, sorry, in the North in American Gold Cup, I should say. That would be a low point, wouldn't it? 2033. 
semi-final loss, semi-final loss, quarter-final loss, semi-final loss to Mexico in the final, loss to Mexico B in the semi-final. I wonder what Mexico B is doing in there. I wonder if Mexico B could beat Mexico A in the final. Lost to Jamaica, lost to Mexico in the final again. So there's not even that many final appearances, is there? They lifted it after beating Jamaica, lifted it. Beat. So they had a good good run of spell there in the early 60s. Something to look forward to there, guys. Uh, lost to Mexico again in the final. Lifted it, beating Costa Rica. Lost to Barbados in the quarterfinal. What is Barbados making a semi-final of the Gold Cup? That would be party time there. They lost to El Salvador in the quarterfinals. Lifted it, beating Honduras. Lost to Mexico in the quarterfinals. Beat Mexico B in the final. Um, lost to Jamaica in the semifinals. So again, not too much to write. I mean, a lot of losses to Mexico B. I didn't know Mexico B was in the Copa America. It's Copa, it's not Copa America, it's the Gold Cup, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's... Again, American fans, let me know what you think in the comments. But I'm going to say this is a little bit disappointing. Uh, North, what is this North American? Is that like the a uh, the uh, it must be the similar sort of thing. It must be like the uh, the UEFA that's going on right now. Um, so it's difficult to say. I don't really know how to judge that because it looks like you've won it a couple of times, but we don't not familiar with the tournament, so I can't really say. Um, so there we go. Yeah, a little bit disappointing. Now, the only thing I want other one to do here is the best eleven. Let's have a look at the all time best American players over the next hundred years. DeAndre Yedlin <clears throat> stands the test of time there. Eric Palmer Brown. Now he's I've <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bit of a cold, guys, so throat's giving out me here. I recognize that name. He was at he's at Man City, I think, where he was last year. I, I remember signing him for my New York City team. Uh, so he's done a hundred years in the best eleven. Uh Weston McKinney, he is he's current as well. Christian Pulisic. So there's a few guys here that do the test of time, which doesn't mean doesn't say much, does it, for the next hundred years. Let's have a look at the goalkeeper. We have Ed Parry, who is currently at Tampa Bay. Uh, let's have a look here. His career stats. He's was at Toronto FC for his crimes. He did his time there, and then he's moved around to Columbus, Colorado. If we go to milestones here, um, it's third place for America in the Gold Cup, Nations League winner. So not too much there to write home about. It's all about the Nations League, Gold Cup runners-up. Um, yeah, not particularly illustrious player, um, but still playing, it looks like. 36 years old, coming towards the end, but still alive and kicking there. Uh, let's have a look here. Dominic Black is the right back, um, 34 years old. He's a free agent. Let's have a look at his milestones. Looks like he's southern in England, Sheffield United, spent some time in England. Without hitting any great heights, a bit of time in Germany, a bit of time in France. Um, again, doesn't look well loved at Bolton, but doesn't otherwise look as though he's had a particularly illustrious career. He got relegated with Berry. So, yeah, this is, I've got to say, I'm really surprised. If you haven't seen the one we did for Australia, go and check that out. But. Australia certainly have, they fared much better, and I thought America would do even better than Australia, to be honest, but this is surprisingly poor. Uh, start at Leeds, spent a bit of time, England, I think that's Czech Republic, isn't it? England, England, back to MLS. Um, again, he's what, you know, American, uh, the, the North American Nations League, he's done okay there. Um, runners up in the US Cup. We'll have a look, at, we should have a look at the US Cup too, actually, shouldn't we? We'll do that after this. Uh, yeah, not much, not much doing for Matty Edwards. <clears throat> Jose sent no Justin Santana is he? No, he's current. He's not current either. Um, now he looks like a decent physical centre back. Let's have a look at his career. A uh, bit of a journeyman there, isn't he? Started at Watford, time on loan around England, Seattle, travelled MLS quite extensively. It looks like is there any team in MLS he did not play for? He, he almost has the full set, doesn't he? He's got to be going close. Um, again, a couple of things with America being traded around MLS. We can see that no one really wants him. Never really found a home. Yeah, again, there's nothing there that suggests that he was particularly quality player. Left back Anthony Robertson. Now he is. He's current as well. He's at Everton. So there's another one. So Anthony Robertson, Christian Pulisic. Is he? He's around. He retired at 34. Let's have a look at his career. Dortmund went to Bayern Munich. Spent some time at Paris. So he had uh, he went to all the big ones, didn't he? he had, and then finished his career at Stoke, it looks like. 
Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he won North American Player of the Year a couple of times, but that's about it for Christian Pulisic. Um, so, yeah, disappointing career for him. Let's have a look at Jeff Thompson here. He's still around 35-year-old. He's at Montreal Impact, so he's probably won a few MLS Cups. Uh, he spent some time in Toronto as well. Got out of there. Went to Sparta Prague, Napoli, Montreal Impact. So he's he's had a decent career. Um, named in US Best 11, runners-up, American National League. What do you do at Napoli? Supporters Player of the Year. So he's, he's done okay. He's had a few... Acknowledgements at uh, at Napoli. Couple of things runners up in the Euro and that's the Europa League with Sparta Prague as well. So he's done okay. He's had a he's, well, he's the best player so far, isn't he? That's still around now. Weston McKinney, as I said, he's a current player as well. So that's another one from the, that's lasted a hundred years. Tom Alvarez, thirty-one year old, he's at Arsenal. So this guy here, he actually looks quite handy, doesn't he? Forty valued at forty-six million. Um, started at Israel. It's a weird starting spot. Another one. So Toronto FC. It looks like they unearthed some players. They just don't keep them. So it went to yeah, Maccabi Tel Aviv, Watford, Blackburn, and Arsenal as well. So he's let's see what's he done here. Runners up in the Carabao Cup. Runners up in the European Super Cup. So he must have won the Europa League with Arsenal. Good to see. A hundred years down the line, Arsenal still in the Europa League. Uh, player of the Year with Arsenal. FA Run Cup runners up with Arsenal, runners up in the FA Cup, runners up in the Carabao Cup. Named in that's the team of the week. Winner of what's the one the MLS All Star game with Arsenal. I mean that's nothing really to write home about. Won the Carabao Cup again with Arsenal, runners up in the Europa League. So he's done okay for himself. Um I'd say he is almost top of the pile, isn't he? We can't really see, unfortunately, what Christian Pulisic ended up, and, um, and McKinney as well. We can't really see what they did in their careers, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but of the ones we have seen, I'd say he's the pick of them. James Pereira, he is currently a free agent, it looks like. He looks decent enough as well. I know he's at Cincinnati. Um, so he looks like he has spent some time at Arsenal. Let's have a look here. Started at Brighton, Arsenal, Wigan on loan, Birmingham, some time in Greece. Travelled around MLS as well. Um, anything here again, nothing particularly supporters shield winner with two separate clubs there. So that's not bad in terms of MLS US cup there as well. Um, US cup runners up won the under 19 champions league with Arsenal, but, uh, yeah, nothing European champions league runners up with Arsenal. So he's, he's floated with success, hasn't he? Uh, old James Pereira, but I don't think he quite hit the heights of Alvarez. And the last player here, it looks like, is Gilberto. He's currently at Sporting Kansas City. Another striker. Only 114 goals in his career. Looks like he spent some time in Brazil before coming home to play MLS. And again, sort of done the standard tour of MLS. Anything here to write home about? Won the MLS Cup with with uh, Vancouver. Won it two more times with Vancouver. Oh, that's the Canadian Championship. So he's won two MLS Cups. Runners up. And yeah, again, nothing really to write home about for Gilberto. Uh, Matt Mulberry, we can't see. Is he current? I'm not sure if he's current. He might be. James Green. He's Is he current as well? No, he's not. 35-year-old. Um, Who's there's a Green for the US right now? Is it Bayern Munich, where he used to be? Let's have a look at this guy. Again, Toronto FC. That's the number of the American all-time 11 that have started at Toronto FC, or their seconds anyway. Did sort of a bit of a tour. Went to, what's that, Norway. Time in England, Russia. So time in Eastern Europe as well. Um, again, hasn't really hit too many heights. Krasnodar Supporters Player of the Year is not bad. Uh, winner, yeah, winner of US Cup. But, yeah, not much there from James Green. Kotomides. I mean, looks like he, 54 caps, an average of 7.3. Looks like he did okay. Timothy Way. Now is that that's uh, just another one that's lasted because that's George Way's son, isn't it? So he's there right now, and Josh Sargent again. I'm not sure if he's current. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six current American players are still in the best team in a hundred years' time. I think that says a lot about the quality of American football. It just has it's just disappeared, hasn't it? After in the next hundred years, so. Sorry, American fans. It doesn't look like it looks doesn't look like it's going to be a good time for you, unfortunately. Uh, now, so let's just quickly go and have a look at the MLS Cup. 
Now, given that how dominant uh, Canadian clubs were in MLS, I thought we might have a quick look and see how the national team did. Did that carry over to international football? If we just have a quick look here, um, world rankings doesn't look great, but now they did win the Olympics. Now, had they won the Olympics beforehand? That's a big question here, isn't it? They had one American Gold Cup that already won, so it doesn't look as though that has carried over. Now, the Olympics they won. No, that's an old Olympics win. So, no, <laughs> is the quick answer there, isn't it? They have won absolutely nothing in 100 years, poor old Canada. Uh, at under-20 North American Championships runners-up slot, but that is it. Let's have a quick look, just see... Oh, just... What am I doing here? I'm all over the shop. Let's just a quick look, see World Cups. Did they make World Cups? Yeah, I mean, a few, um, but never out of the groups. Now, considering that it's the 48-team World Cup, you'd maybe hope they do to do a little bit better there. Um, but I mean, a long story short is just no, no, it was purely MLS based, um, yeah, superiority. I mean, didn't even get, always finished bottom of their group in under 20 world cups, uh, gold cups, couple of not even getting out of their groups. So yeah, no, the short answer <laughs> to that one is no, um, Canada did not do any better international level. Okay, we've been joined by Gus for this one. He's interested in the US Cup. Uh, most times win at New York. Now, that's Red Bull, isn't it? We'll just have a quick glide through here. Uh, anything, most, any... How's Toronto... Oh, no, Toronto FC would be in this, would they? That's disappointing. Um, let's have a look at past winners. So, it's New York Red Bulls that have won at most of all. San Jose. Let's see if anybody outside of an MLS team has won at maybe. Um, in 100 years, you'd think maybe at least one. Looks like it's been a pretty well spread around, doesn't it? Uh, it's because the Canadian teams aren't here to dominate everything um i don't see any non mls teams as of yet not even sort of finalists which would surprise me a little bit actually you'd think at least one would would make their way through houston's got a win there as well um but no it doesn't look like it's happened it's always mls uh you can see so this is looks like where new york's done quite a bit of damage doesn't it quite a few wins there made a few finals as well and i imagine if you think um that Vancouver and Montreal were dominating MLS so so much. This was sort of the only trophy that uh, that the clubs would have had to play for. So um, pretty well evenly spread around, though. There's no one that's sort of a repeat winner. No one's winning it in clusters. I mean, two there, I think, is that's the most that I've seen. Um, Cincinnati and Philadelphia look like they traded it a few times there. Atlanta won it back-to-back. But, yeah, pretty well evenly spread around there for the U.S. Cup. But, guys, that's it for this uh, for this experiment for uh, American soccer. Um, I'm going to do a few more of these. I'm going to do one for the Premier League, uh, one for the Football League as well. And if you have any other suggestions, um, by all means, get in contact and let me know. Um, I'm limited with sort of the amount of leagues that I did the... Um, I sort of skipped ahead here with, so I can't do every league, unfortunately. But... Um, well, I'll do what I can. So if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But until next time, I've been Aussie Bill. And if you have enjoyed this, do please hit like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and have a look around. Uh, but until next time, take care.